three wide of the outside goes Eric Jones with help from Kyle Busch. Down the back stretch, a lot of three wide in the middle of the pack. Ray looking to make contact. There goes Kyle Larson in the air. Up against the outside wall. The car back to, comes back on all fours, and everyone scatters to come through turns three and four to avoid the number 42 of Kyle Larson. And the first caution of the series of the season is out here in Daytona. A wild crash in turn number three brings the 42 in the air back on the ground. Let's see what happened. He just got hooked by the 18 car who got hooked by the four, Kevin Harvick. And it looks like Harvick did get turned by somebody there. Up into the 18 Free flag for Kyle Larson. And he's going to take the dog leg. I'm going to try to go three wide. Maybe no. Oh, they got contact again. There was Keselowski on the inside wall. The big one here in Phoenix off the restart. And what a what a tough crash for the number two of Brad Keselowski. Two weeks and two races in a row. He's been involved in a crash. Shame for Alex Bowman, the contact and the damage on the left side of his race car. I'm going to bring up the caution once again here in Phoenix right off the restart. Let's see what happened here. It looks like they went three wide, and oh man, he tanked the 22. That's what damaged the 88 car. Running out of the inside, what a surprise! Side by side for a second, Reddit clear. Oh, there goes Clint Boyer, hard in the outside wall. Vicious hit for Clint Boyer at the exit of turn number four. That was in the short shoot there as they exited the corner, trying to head into the uh, the dog leg up here. Yeah, as you can see, the car washes up the racetrack. The back end got out from underneath him. And slammed the outside wall as he trying to avoid the two car that was coming on his inside. You can see right here. Back end goes out. Almost hits the two. Tail swipes the front end, it seems. Here at the Iowa Speedway. Down the back stretch. Looking very good so far. Trouble turn number two. Big hit for the number 17 of Chris Busher in the number in the Sunny D machine. He started 10th today. A great start for him, but not so much of that for a finish. As the back end of that race car caved in. After a hellacious smash to the outside retaining wall. Let's see what happened. Oh, man. Looks like he cut across the 24's nose there, heading into turn number one. And now he got his car uh, spinning, and it went up the banking and into the outside wall. A hard, hard hit. You can see right here, trying to get it uh, spinning around once again to try to stay off the wall. As you saw the smoke come up on the back end of the car. Right as he there. was trying to use the top side there. Oh, trouble turn number four. Ryan Blaney goes for a spin. He collects Eric Amarola, and the caution is back out here at the Iowa Speedway. And and those guys are going to be able to get back going again. But the Penske and Stewart Haas racing cars of Ryan Blaney and Eric Amarola go for a spin off the front end of Truex. Went Blaney. Looks like there was contact right here. Maybe Blaney was trying to slide up in front of the 19, and he got hit. And then push down to the inside stick right Stick on the outside lane. Here he comes now. He's actually going to poke his nose out front. Trouble in turn number two again. This time, it's Denny Hamlin and Matt Benedetto going for a spin at the exit of turn number two. And let's see what happened here. Looks like the 19 went to the inside. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. The 19 made it three wide. He pushed the 21 up into the 11, and those two went spinning. And Truex with a, with a lucky escape off turn number two. Looks like he came out unscathed, but maybe with a little bit of uh, contact with the Benedetto, eight. Tyler side Rennie. by side for second. Across the line, DiBenetto still keeps over the second spot. Back down to turn number one. Whoa, trouble! There goes Denny Hamlin up and over, and he's barrel rolling across the start finish line. And the first caution of the race here at the Colorado Speedway is out for Denny Hamlin. Barrel rolling on the front straightaway. And that Joe Gibbs Toyota wheels up on the front stretch. And red flag out immediately for the field. They're stomped on the back stretch. Let's see what happened here. Denny Hamlin up and over. Uh, t t turtled here on the front straightaway. Let's see what happened. They were three wide coming off turn number two, turn number four, that is. And oh man, Denny just slams the outside wall. And it looks like contact with the 22 and the nine cars were really what sent him into the wall. You can see Denny was a little bit lower. Uh, trying to stay in the middle of that three wide battle there. Got hooked by the 22. He overcorrected, went into the outside wall. In contact with Elliott, and possibly sent him over. And, Flying back uh, in the air. Oh, they're going to get sideways already. Reddick spins as well. And three cars in the outside wall. Your top three on the restart Ryan Newman, Matt DiBenedetto, Tyler Reddick across the line. And it looked like it was a pushing job gone wrong as Tyler Reddick tried to get the six going. That inside of lane definitely would not have gone any faster. Tyler Reddick shoves the six car and pushes him into the outside wall. A little bit of a hook right there. Pushes him around. Bowman hooks the eight car as he tries to avoid. And the second caution immediately out. Once again here in Colorado. Drama off the restart. And the six not happy with the eight car. And let's see what actually happened here. 
slow it down just a little bit. You can see right there the 8 car hooks the 6, trying to get him back up to speed. And as Alex Bowman tried to avoid to get to the inside, he hooked the 8 car. And they, oh, trouble on turn number 4. It's the 14 of the 41 car. Stewart Haas Racing goes for a spin in the middle of turns 3 and 4. What in the world happened? It looked like uh, Boyer just slid up into the 41 possibly. Let's see what happened though. Now heading into turn number three. Oh wow, looks like Clint Boyer tried to get to the inside of Custer there, heading into turn three. And I think De Benedetto was there. I don't think uh, Clint Boyer knew he was clear. No, it isn't. It looks like he was just trying to dive low uh, and make the pass on Cole Custer. Yeah, but going to have the edge back to turn number one. And it looks like, whoa, trouble. And the first straightaway, Kyle Bush around. Chase Elliott spins as well. And a hellacious crash to the inside wall. And Kyle Bush, heavy, heavy damage to that Joe Gibbs Snickers Toyota and into the outside wall. It looks like Chase Elliott will be able to continue. Let's see what happened here. Oh man, almost deja vu for a moment right there for, so, for some odd reason, I don't know what. But it looks like Chase Elliott misjudged the gap getting in behind Kyle yeah, Boyer. Trying to chase them down now as they head back to turn number three. Side by side battle is for third with Boyer and Dylan. Oh, trouble backstretch. Hard in the inside wall goes Kevin Harvick. That front end of that race car is demolished. And the first caution is out here in Talladega. Your points leader coming into this race out already. Started in the back, was trying to stay out of trouble. Guess what? He was the trouble to start out this race. Hard, hard impact to the inside wall for the four of Kevin Harvick. A very tough, tough uh, second half of the season thus far. Uh, was really rocketing forward in the early uh, stages of the season. You see he just gets turned right there off the front end of the number 12 car. Looks like it was another incident of, of other cars getting loose off turn number two. Here they come out of the back stretch. They're going to go a little sideways. Elliott's on his door. The big one happens in the back stretch. And a humongous crash takes out at least half the field. And everyone... Uh, crashing and colliding on the back stretch and the caution the red flag actually is out as the field stops in the front stretch Jimmy Johnson uh, William Byron Reddick they all avoid but once again the trouble spot of turn number two leads to wrecked cars on the back stretch here at Talladega and Chase Elliott the one that took the hardest of the hits off the front end of the number one of Kurt Busch let's see what happened here as they came onto the Alabama Gang Super Stretch, you saw the L1 car get sideways there at the front of the 14. A humongous hit for the 9 of Elliott. You saw right there how he got up on his side, then got hit by Clint Boyer. Back up, put the back end of the car up in the air. See right here, boom, from Boyer into the wall, and a huge crash on the back stretch. Now leading to at least more than half the field involved in a wreck. Jimmy Jones tries to block. Here goes LeJoy back to the middle. Here they come out. Oh, they're going to spin. Reddick goes around off the front end of the 17 of Busher. And the caution is back out for the third time here in Talladega. And Tyler Reddick keeps the car straight. And limps it back onto pit road. Let's see what happened here. The 48 blocked the 32. And looks like the 8 car washed up off turn number 4. And then got hooked by the 17 of Chris Busher. I see it once more here as they came off the corner. I don't think the battle for the lead had anything to do with it. No. Looks like the 8 car just got washed up there coming off of turn number 4. And then when he tried to come back down in front of the 17, he uh, got turned. And, um, Jack, who's going to get in the lead first? Looks like Denny Hamlin's going to win. As they crash behind him, one car on his roof. And it's Kyle Busch. And he skeeds across the line. Looks like 12th place for him. And Kyle Busch up and over coming to the checkered flag as his teammate Denny Hamlin scores the, in win. the background. You can see Kyle Busch up in the air. Let's see how this one happened. He was on the top side of three wide coming to the checkered flag. Oh man, I can't even tell. It looked like he was possibly trying to get in line ahead of the 48 car to make a pass on the 32 of LaJoy. Very hard to tell from this angle. Uh, looks like, yeah, he was most likely trying to get in line behind the 32 and he got down in front of the 48 got turned and then once he hit Stenhouse that got him up in the air and flipping all over the pack Let's see one one last time here coming across the nose of the 48 up in the air landed on his roof right against the outside wall he needed Jimmy Johnson taking away the second spot from Kevin Harvick oh jump on the first frame like Joey Logano is around big crash for him and he stops right along the start finish line and the first caution of the race is out here in Atlanta and he drives it back to the pit lane and uh, that 22 car is demolished, at least on the right side of the race car. It looks like the tire blew out in the right rear. Oh yeah, that's exactly what happened. You can see the uh, car get a hefty load of damage there on the right rear quarter panel uh, where that car blew out. You can see it again here coming off of turn number four. 
Oh man, it just swipes around on him and he slams the left side of the car against the outside wall. Uh, doesn't look like it's too terminal. Lap traffic to the inside of Corey LaJoy goes the 21 of De Benedetto, and off the turn before they come, still trying to get the traffic. Oh, Alex Bowman's in the wall. A big hit for the 10 of Eric Amarola as well, and the caution is out, and your championship leader is out of contention early here in Bristol. Yellow flag is out here on lap number six, and the 20, uh, excuse me, the uh, 88 of Alex Bowman got up into the outside wall. Looks like a tire blew out. Possibly the left front tire up into the outside wall and nowhere to go for the 10 of Eric Amarola And that was the same spot just a lap ago the 10 had his issues Here he comes to the inside Bush now looks to the inside He's gonna take the lead clear off turn number two Car out of the far side is Eric Jones hardening the inside wall and back up into traffic a huge hit from Ricky Sinosh Jr. Against the outside wall and Eric Jones took a hard crash here at the entrance of turn number one and here is a look at the replay. Virtually, it looked like Truex trying to get to the inside of his teammate and slamming up into the wall when Eric Jones, after trying to block the 19's move, see it right as they cross the line right here. The 19 looked low, the 20 came down, and then up back up into traffic with the 47 of Stenthouse. I mean, just took a, a hit into the back bumper.